Hey hello all, welcome to the channel, Ali here. So today I'm actually going to review some Arbna food, uh, some curries. Now, actually, believe it or not, I eat this kind of food a lot. I don't think I've actually done a curry yet on the channel, which is a bit strange really, but I'm going to go for it. So, okay, I'm not sure what to start with first, but I should say all this stuff is from a hidden gem in Manchester called Chapati Corner. If you're in Manchester or if you're visiting, make sure to go to Chapati Corner. This place is fantastic, but let me just quickly go over what I have. Right, so I'm gonna start actually with a lamb curry. Cause it's the one that's in front of me and it smells amazing. Now today I'm actually filming on a Sunday before fasting. So they've actually got a lamb nihari, which I'm always a bit hit and miss on. So I'm looking forward to trying that, but let's go for the lamb curry first. Do you know what? It's quite meaty, which is nice. I'm actually gonna spoon it on. Um, I promise. I am actually Asian. I don't, who spoons on a cut? It, look, it's, this is chunky, man. I need to spoon it on, so let's give this a go. Hey man, that lamb karai is amazing. It's, it's like proper chunky lamb. Super soft, just melts in your mouth. Flavoring is really good. It's got a really nice kick to that. The only thing I would say is if you um, don't like coriander this is great as it is a lot of the curries they sprinkle it on I personally always ask for no coriander whatsoever I think a lot of people think that adds to the dish I however do not like coriander actually do you know what I've got a really interesting fact about coriander which I'm going to go into in a second this is really interesting but hold on let's try the chicken today now but yeah that lamb was just that, I, can't, I can't wait to get through the food so I can go back actually to the lamb so I'm going to try the chicken and I'm not going to use the spoon because uh, I'll have to hand in my Asian card if I use the spoon again. So here we go. That's really nice. Significantly less kick than the lamb. And I'm much more of a lamb favourite. Actually, what about you guys? What do you prefer, lamb curry or chicken curry? I always go for one lamb curry and then one vegetable curry and then I have them together. But I don't know, what about you guys? What, what do you prefer? That's still really, really good. This, if I'm being honest, is more for my brother. He's much more uh, of a chicken fan. I think he's really going to enjoy that. It does have a kick. It's just a lot milder than the lamb. The gravy's a little bit thinner. It's got a ton of coriander in there as well. That is really, really good. These are very much sort of Arpner style or home style, if you will, curries, which is why I like going to them. I'm not too keen on Western curries, which is just a load of sauce from a jar and a bit of meat on the you know through in the middle with some onions i'm not so keen on that but this is it's quite similar to home star cooking so these are really really good now let's move on to the nihari right i'm gonna go for the lamb nihari now however what I probably should have done is had the rice and three which is what they're known for but i will get onto that in a second so let's get some of this naan which that's made fresh and to order as well which is worth noting super tasty I'm just going to try the gravy of the Nahari first. Now I'm a bit hit and miss on Naharis. I've had some which have been absolutely beautiful and I've had some which I've, I've, I've not sort of liked that much as well because it's one of those dishes, it's got a big chunk of lamb in the middle and the gravy is quite thin. So it's one of those dishes where it kind of, it can't really hide. If, if the lamb is dry and that's the, the, the main thing of the dish, it can't hide, you know. So if that's wrong, then the whole dish is a bit off. So I'm going to give the, the gravy a go first. Okay, that's nice, that's mild. It's got a very, very different taste to the other lamb dishes. Like I say, it's a lot milder. I'm gonna give the Nahari, I'm actually just gonna pick up with my hands, to be honest with you. I wanna see how soft it is, which is very soft. That's been slow cooked. That is, ooh, that peels off super quickly. That just tastes like a spicy lamb steak. That is really, really good lamb. What I would say is there's not too much lamb here. There's a couple of really, really big chunks, but what they have is really, really tasty. I've never had their lamb nahari before. I've had everything else, but I'm really enjoying this. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go for the rice and three. This is what this place sells the most of. And there's quite a few rice and three places in Manchester, which I will review. I think there's this and that, which is super famous. I wanna, I definitely wanna go there. There's Cabana, which I love. I'm gonna go there. But before I do that, I mentioned the coriander before. There are some people in society, that's just such a weird way to lead in with that story, but some people actually have a genetic defect where coriander actually just tastes like, like soap to them. So for me, coriander is absolutely horrible. It tastes like a meat in soap. 
that's the closest thing it resembles. If you're one of those people, let me know because some people are affected by this and it's a real issue, people, it's a real issue. Look, I'm Asian and I can't have coriander. Do you know how hard my life has been? <laughs> right, now let's go for the rice and three. So kind of how it sounds really. So you get a, a bed of rice and then you actually get to get three of the curries. So every day they have a fresh selection of curries. I've gone for a lamb curry, uh, chicken with potatoes, and I've gone for gobi, uh, which is cauliflower as well. So the lamb is pretty much the same curry as that one, but sometimes I just want it with rice, you know. This pot, I think, is seven pounds, which is a bargain. You can get three meat dishes, a load of rice for seven pounds. It's fantastic. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, Let's go for the chicken and potatoes. Do you know with potato dishes and curries, they just have to be soft. They have to be soft because if they've got any hardness to them and crunch to them, potatoes just don't work with rice at all. They need to be proper soft. That's phenomenal. Um, that's that's brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I really miss Arpna food because during this fasting period, this is actually actually recorded pre-fasting, I should say, but this will come out during fasting. I imagine, this is how I imagine I'm going to feel. My family are all down south, so I'm probably going to be missing Arpna food, and this is exactly what I need. So hopefully those heroes are open around that time, and I can just get my curries during the day, keep them at home, and then just microwave them in the evening and have them then. That's what I'm hoping anyway, because this is proper Arpna-style food. This is, this is awesome. Um... No frills, you go in there, you feel like you're in the 80s, but I, I love that, they're all so friendly. There's like jugs of water on the table, it's wicked. Listen, my taste buds are very happy right now. That is a fantastic rice and three. What I'm actually gonna do at some point is do maybe Manchester's top five curries or London's top five curries, or I don't know, UK's top five curries, something along those lines. I'm gonna get that done at some point, but this is, this is gonna be quite hard to be. I'm really enjoying this. Hey guys, so that takes me to the end of the video. Thank you so much for staying right to the end. I uh, hope you guys are having a, a great Ramadan. Hope you're enjoying time with your family and I'll see you all in that next video. See you later guys.